So uh, welcome, Samantha, with Independent Bookstore Day. Thank you. Should I just take it away? Take it away. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me, especially East Coasters, because as Daniel said, I know it's dinner time. Um, I will try and keep it brief. Uh, so basically, I don't know what Bookstore Day is going to look like on August 29th because um, everybody's in a slightly different position where they are. Some stores are still completely closed to the public except for online sales. Some stores are completely open and many stores are somewhere in between. So it's going to be up to stores to figure out um, how they're going to do this and how they're going to celebrate and throw a party on the 29th. That said, we've tried the best we could to sort of anticipate um, the positions that different stores might be in and provide some help. So um, the major thing we've done is make all of the IBD exclusives, um, I think there are 13 this year, available to sell online so that you, if you're online only, um, you can just sell them online and ship them uh, ship them directly to your customers. Um, and you are free to basically advertise that and publicize that in any way you want. Um, we did have a slight change and we ask that nobody put anything for sale until the 29th. We just wanna keep a level playing ground for stores that are opening their doors, for stores that are doing, you know, whatever combination of virtual and in-person, we want it all to begin on the same day. Um, and and we were also running into some issues with stores not knowing, um, you know, being nervous of maybe selling out of a particular popular item before the store actually opens on Saturday and how to do that. And it got complicated. So August 29th is the day for sales, whether online or in store, curbside pickup, whatever you're doing. And probably most people are doing some combination. Um, Indie Commerce has all of the, I, all of the, um, exclusive titles and bibliographic information uploaded. So if you are an indie commerce or an indie commerce light site, it should be very easy for you to upload the titles you want, you know, design them how you, you know, arrange them on whatever design you're using. Um, delete the ones that you're not carrying if there are titles that you didn't bring in. All online orders will have to be fulfilled um, by the stores from whatever stock they receive. So Ingram's not going to be doing any of the fulfillment. Um, so that's um, how the online was working. That's different for this year. Um, and also, I just want to say, if you have questions, feel free to, um, like Anne said, either you know raise your hand or just turn on your mic and ask. Um, I'll save time at the end for questions too, but you're also welcome to type them into the chat and I'll try and get to them. Um, as we go. Uh, so the other thing that we've done is we've planned a full day of virtual author events for August 29th. So if you are a store that is not open at all to the public and is doing this all virtually, that will provide you with almost, you know, eight hours of programming and hopefully um, sales. So we also have, um, and as I said in the last newsletter, um, and I will send this information out again, along with specific directions on how to use Indie Commerce to sell um, the IBD exclusives this year. But um, so please open open those newsletters. <laughs> um, they're really the way that I communicate. So and I don't sell them. I send them out just to say hello. I send them out because there's information and links that you'll need. Um, and, and options for you and, you know, social media collateral and all sorts of good stuff. So, um, uh, sorry, where was I? So we have this whole day of programming that is going up on the independent bookstore day, the indiebookstoreday.com website right now. It should be up by this Thursday. Um, but I've also provided the spreadsheet. There's a link in last week's newsletter to a Google spreadsheet which describes each event with the time, has a link to the Zoom event, and then also provides art. And in that art, and you'll see, it's very easy to click through. And in that art are buttons that you can put on your website wherever you choose that say, join the event now. So you put that button on your website, you link it to the Zoom link, and your customers will be able to just click from your website. 
So that way you can kind of control how you're doing this. You can put it next to books by these authors. Not all of, many of the authors are authors that have IBD exclusives and many of them aren't. So for example, if you wanted to make like here, you know, a page with all the books by participating authors on that day, you could, and then have the, use the join button with the link to the Zoom call. Um, there's lots of ways you can use that. You can use, you know, you certainly can send those links out via social media. Um, we have social media collateral for that too in the same place. So you'll click through, you'll see a button, which is more for websites, and then you'll see a square. Um, and that square will say, go to IndieBookstore.com to join an event, but you can always put on your social media go to our website to join the event. So any way that you wanna promote that and any way that you wanna link your online sales to those events, we are wholeheartedly in favor of. Um, so, you know, you might wanna think about bringing backlists. They're all really well-known authors. It's not gonna be obscure stuff that you're gonna to have to get, but um, you might wanna have those in stock or, you know, connected to whatever you're, if you have Ingram fulfillment, um, an easy way, you know, if someone here is Terry Jones, speak and they're like, oh yeah, I never did read American Marriage, they can click your site and buy her book. So, um, and that will, again, that will look different. Um, and I am not an indie commerce expert. I really had to ramp up because this is the first year I'm working with them. So if you have technical questions, um, you're, they're going to be better at answering them. But wait to bombard them with questions until you get the newsletter, which they've really helped me sort of um, describe how how this is working. So, you know, I'm hoping that I'll send that out and it'll be easy for you guys. And maybe um, indie commerce isn't confusing to you because you use it all the time and I don't. So um, I've had to really do some catch up. Um, I just want to answer some questions here. Are there any restrictions on selling items after the day? Uh, no, you can continue to sell them online and you can continue to sell them in store. The only restriction is that we ask that you don't put them on third party websites. So you don't sell them on eBay um, or anything like that. But otherwise, no, no restrictions. Um, another question here is, is Ingram stocked for the non-exclusive author inventory? Um, yes, most of those, so they're not stocked for any of the IBD exclusives. Those have all gone out to bookstores. So Ingram won't be able to do any fulfilling of the exclusives. However, they're stocked for the backlist for participating authors. So for example, Amor, Amor Tolls has an exclusive for us and you know, Ingram carries his backlist or um, Renee Watson or Debbie Harry, um, John Klassen. I mean, these are authors that Ingram will have in stock. So if that's how you do fulfillment uh, for backlist, that'll work too. There, there was another part, Samantha, to that first question about the restrictions on selling the items. Um, can they go on sale if they haven't sold in a while? Yes. Um, we ask that you not lower the price for at least one month. Um, and then you can lower the price as you see foot fit. So some stores will have sales for leftover exclusives and some stores will um, save them for next bookstore day. Some stores will just leave them hanging out, you know, whatever. It's completely up to, up to you. And you could do an online promotion um, of leftover, you know, you could do a fire sale, but we do ask that if you change the price on any of them, you wait one month. Um, <clears throat> will you be offering IBD items for sale on bookshop for stores that have a bookshop page? No, we will not um, because because only stores were able to order, that, um, order these exclusives. They're printed and produced according to orders. This all happened long before COVID-19. We, we don't have extras for a bookshop. It's, anyway, they do not have the exclusives. Um, and the original idea behind Bookstore Day is always to get customers in your doors. Um, that said, we are partnering with Bookshop um, they're going to really help promote Indie Bookstore Day. And then we, um, Independent Bookstore Day has an affiliate account. Um, and we have book lists of every author participating um, on our, in our August 29th events. And every author that has contributed an exclusive to this year's list. So again, like the Amor Tools backlist, or we're having uh, one of our panels is um, past 
Bookstore Day author ambassadors, and it's going to be Emma Straub, Lauren Groff, and Tayari Jones. So, you know, they'll, their backlist will be on that list. Anyone who buys, so of course you can advertise that too. If you're a bookshop.org store, you know, publicize that those books are for sale and do it that way. But if people don't have an indie bookstore and they want to buy these stores, they can buy these books rather, they can go to the independent bookstore day affiliate shop on bookshop.org and all of the money from those sales, which I anticipate to be very tiny because most of these sales should be directly through stores. Um, but any, any money we do make will fold into the um, bookstore general fund. We will not, we're not making any um, profit off the sales of books. We just are trying to make it available for people if they're looking for it. Um, so the other thing that we are just getting going is a bunch of um, stuff on our website. There's um, a new website banner if you want to use that as the banner on your website, you know, with the new date and everything. Um, there's Facebook banners if you want to use those on your Facebook page. There's Instagram, ready-made Instagram posts that are just sort of general. Bookstore day is happening this day. You are free to, if you have, you know, design savvy, your social media savvy people on staff, you are free to design those in whichever way you see fit. Um, but we do have links to them on our website, along with um, a bunch of different logos in different colors and a bunch of logos with the new date. So if you need to update your website or your social media platform to, to reflect the new bookstore date, all of that stuff is on the for the trade. Um, I just, let me see if I can share my screen really quickly. Um, so if you see here, this is um, for the trade and you go there and all along here are um, Instagram posts, Facebook banner, another Facebook banner, a web banner. Um, these are social media collaterals from Sean Doolittle. This is some ways to make sunshine stuff. Um, I'm filling this in as soon as we get off the phone. <laughs> All right, um, but here's you know a bunch of, uh, these are multicolored IBD logos with no date. Up here will be a folder full of the same logos, but with the August 29th date. Um, and then the other thing we've done is create um, party ideas for a new reality, which also lives on the For the Trade page, and it's right here. I will also send a link out for that. Um, but it just has some ideas for online fun and games and socially distanced in-person things. Um, and some of them are, some of the socially distanced in person are what people, what stores have been doing in the past, but sort of um, slightly altered for um, social distancing. Um, the, because of social distancing, stores that will be open to the public and having events, um, you will most likely, if possible, require more staff because you might need staff to manage lines. You might need staff to be doing things like spinning a prize wheel where in years past customers have spun it themselves. Um, so things like um, we have ideas for, you know, how to people, how to keep people interested in line if they have to wait to get in six feet apart and, um, and things like that. So for those reasons, um, it's possible. I mean, sort of, I think, Ideally, um, you know, you look at what you're going to do and then figure out your staffing needs if that's an option for you. I know that people, a lot of stores are running on tiny staffs and tiny shoestrings right now. So again, um, it's really hard for us to know what Bookstore Day is going to look like, um, but we're doing our best to get the word out and we're doing our best to help you guys re-envision it however you need to. Um, so let's see, Emily asks, what are some affordable prizes people are offering? Um, so people offer, a lot of people offer galleys that they have because while they build up at book in, you know, in our stores, um, they're pretty exciting to customers a lot of times. So, um, you know, pick sort of cherry picking through your galleys, um, wrapping them in brown paper so they're a surprise or letting people choose. Um, from a big box or something is kind of exciting to people. Um, you can also offer small discount coupons. You can just sort of make 
um, copies, you know, little coupons that are like either $5 off or 10% off um, or um, spend $25, get a $5 coupon, all of these kinds of things. Um, some people tie prizes to purchases. So like, I think anyone who was at any of our um, fall gathering events, um, Melinda from Bookshop Santa Cruz, what they do is if you buy any of the exclusives on Bookstore Day, you get a chance to spin the wheel. And so their prizes are a little bit, they're not huge, but they're just a little bit more you know, value added because that person has already made a purchase in their store. So, and it's not, you could buy the cheapest, you know, you could buy the $6 story and that's considered a purchase. So stores are doing this. Some stores give out the tote bags. Um, if you received those and you've been holding on those, some stores plan to give out um, either their own masks that they've made or IBD masks that they've bought. Um, if you, Again, like we always, we always encourage pairing with other independent businesses near you if they exist, the coffee shop down the street, the donut shop, whatever, um, you know, they might want to offer coupons as prizes and rewards um, for your customers too. Again, it gets trickier in this time because in some places cafes aren't open, but you know, we, whatever you can do. Um, and even if you just say one thing, like everybody gets a 10% off coupon as a prize, like you could just keep it simple, make it that, or everybody gets a pick of a galley. You don't have to come up with a million different things. There's also free items, you know, that um, you had to order. So there's free books, there's free posters, um, you know, depending on what your inventory is that, but, but those are pretty much intended um, as giveaways and prizes for bookstore day. So whatever your inventory is on like the Jean Yang poster, the um, Joy of Reading book. There was a bunch of Little Engine that could um, event stuff going out, which probably people aren't having kids events in stores and maybe they are depending, but that came with a lot of Little, little Engine that could trinkets, stickers and stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, Libro FM. Thanks, Albie. So uh, that's another thing I want to talk about is some of our partnerships. So Libro FM has been a wonderful partner for us for years now. And um, they're really great at creating, um, oh, somebody's coming in my front door. Um, they're really great at creating social media collateral and art. And thank you guys so much for all of that. They are also really good at coming up with creative little mini contests and um, efforts to bring publicity to Bookstore Day as a whole. Also, so they do giveaways. So right now they have a promotion going that asks people to give a, make a one minute video and in exchange, they get a free book from Libro. Plus um, they get entered in a drawing to either win a, a one year membership to Libro or a hundred dollar gift certificate through their Libro bookstore. Um, and then later they have, um, I think it's three, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Albie, but um, three free titles that they're offering on bookstore day. Anyway, all of this information is that they have a, there is an independent bookstore day page on Libro FM. Work with them. <laughs> they're very good at what they do. They've been really, really helpful um, in, uh, in getting the word out and just helping us promote. And of course, you know, audiobooks are, sales of audiobooks are really increasing during this time. Um, so, you know, get with that. Yeah, really too. quick, Sam, I just wanted to mention, actually, there's three books, and this isn't even on our website yet, but we'll mm -hmm. update it, and you'll be able to share. There's three different books where if people pre-order it, they're indie on Bookstore Day and send us the receipt, we'll give them the audio version for free. Right. So we'll share that, but hopefully that'll drive some pre-orders at your stores on that day. Right. Um, so yeah, there will be more information going out again through the newsletter um, about Libro promotions. Um, and then please make sure you follow us on our, we have three social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, um, because we will be sending out all of the stuff and it makes it easy for you to just retweet or share or, you know, um, so you don't don't have to create all of this stuff because we're creating it, Libra's creating it, Bookshop's creating it. Um, the other uh, 
The thing I wanted to talk about is we are partnering with Europa Editions for the release of Elena Ferrante's new novel. So we are doing an online event on Friday, August 28th. It's sort of the kickoff to Bookstore Day weekend um, with Anne Goldstein, who's the translator of the Ferrante novels, as Ferrante novels, as you probably know. Um, but this is a really good opportunity for you to take pre-orders for that book. Um, and again, I will have um, art and stuff available and, and links available. We're just finalizing, Europa's just finalizing the, the details of that event. But once, once it's finalized and once I have art, you know, you can make it really, really easy to like join this event with Ann Goldstein, pre-order uh, Lying Life of Adults right next to each other on the front page of your website if you want or on your indie bookstore page or however you see fit. But um, we're just trying to make it easy for you to create kind of no-brainer online promotions and get some of those sales. You, you can, of course, do this in person too. take, you know, pre-orders in person as well. Um, are there any other questions um, just about like the nuts and bolts or the logistics of all this stuff? Anything, if you're confused about something that seems silly, ask the question anyway, because I know it's really hard to disseminate information to 638 bookstores at the same time. And um, this is a learning curve, doing it this year is a giant learning curve for me and for everybody else. So there truly is no stupid question or no question, you know, too niggly. Um, the other thing I was hoping is that if there are people here who have already planned their bookstore day events, whether online, in store, or some combo, if you wouldn't mind sharing those with us, I think it's that's particularly helpful um, for stores is to hear about what other people are doing. Um, we had a couple of uh, questions come in through the registration. One is. Um, how can independent and smaller publishers best support IBD this year? This is from IPG, Lauren Clouda. Uh-huh. Um, well, we, we love to work with small presses and we are working directly with some small presses this year on, um, on exclusives, but like Charles Bridge and, um, but we'd like to work with small presses more. And, you know, at this point, like, um, any publicity efforts. So whatever it's through, you know, through your normal channels, through your newsletters, through your social media channels, um, we just appreciate any shout out um, from whoever on whatever platform. Um, that's, that's our main goal right now is to just get the word out that this is happening, when it's happening and what's available. And the best way to do that is just to direct people to their local independent bookstore. Most of our audience nationally already has a bookstore. They already have a local bookstore. These are people who know what an independent bookstore are, is and, you know, um, but for people who don't, there's of course a search engine on our website that enables people to find one via zip code or by, you know, in any manner um, of way. So if people are looking um, to support, and you can also, I mean, of course, now that it's online, you know, people can support a bookstore across country if they want to. Um, thank you, Serena and Kathy. <laughs> um, is there an Edelweiss or Ingram catalog for IBD to help with easy ordering of featured books? Yes, there is both. Um, if you go to Edelweiss, it's called Independent Bookstore Day 2020 catalog. Um, and that has everything. You cannot order from Edelweiss. Orders are closed for the exclusives at this point. They closed, um, they always close in early February when it's normally in April. This year we extended it to the end of July. But um, because so many things are printed to order, these are exclusives, they never come around again. We have to close orders with enough time for people to print and distribute that exact number of things. So um, Ingram does have some extras. Um, and if you haven't placed an order or if you want to get more of something because it's um, getting some attention or buzz around your store, you can contact your Ingram rep directly and augment an existing order. Or if, you're, if you have an Ingram account and you're an ABA um, or, 
an ABA member or a member of your um, local booksellers association, you can place a new order, but do it now because they need to process your order and ship you this stuff. Um, will there be an extra media push for IBD coming from Kaliba given this year being so very different? Um, yes, in that um, we've really focused on partnering with um, a lot of different people and, and developing specific social media plans. So social media is a big way that we publicize and it's especially helpful for the virtual version of Bookstore Day. Um, and then because we're working with the ABA now, you know, we get the help of the social media company that they contract with, CATS, the CATS people, I forget what CATS Incorporated, <laughs> anyway, they do all the ABA social media. So they will help um, amplify our messages. Um, and then of course there's book selling this week and um, Europa is a new addition to our efforts. And so, you know, hopefully um, all of that is happening. We've also extended our um, independent publicist who works with Bookstore Day every day to pitch media stories. And I just talked with the Boston Globe today. They're doing a big story on it. Um, so our publicist is to cats communication. Thanks, Daniel. Um, so there will they'll help amplify the IBD message this year as well. Um, and and our publicist is still at work. Usually she works from about January to April. And now she's worked from January through August. So we've, you know, she's she's still on board and she's still an immense help. Um, so that's the story with our media push um, for this year. Um, it's a little bit our heart, um, it's harder to get a centralized message out this year for us also because we don't exactly know what stores are going to be doing, what combination of virtual and in person. So we don't want to it's hard to have a blanket message. Um, any ideas for using IBD to increase our social media presence as individual stores, contests, promotions, etc.? cetera? Um, yes, basically play, get on there, um, follow other bookstores, follow authors, follow publishers, follow book bloggers. And a good way to find those if you're just starting out is go to a bookstore you like that you think has a good media, social media presence or whatever, and find out who they follow and who follows them. And that's how you get started. You just, um, you know, there are stores that just do really great social media um, and kind of following on their coattails is a good way to get started if you're just like, who do I even, who am I talking to here? Um, and then um, playing, like, I, I, you know, I will put on my to-do list, spend 40 minutes on Twitter, which I actually hate Twitter personally, but it's been very helpful for Bookstore Day. It's, it's, it's our most helpful channel um, in terms of social media. So I'll spend and I'll go through my, you know, whatever's there and retweet and respond. And, and I'm not necessarily even posting something just for Bookstore Day. I am creating those relationships and trying to get amplification for our channel. So that's, um, that's one way to do it. Um, contests and promotions are also a great way to do it. Anything that's interactive, even if you're just asking for opinion, like, um, what do you, what's your favorite beach read? Mystery, romance, um, nonfiction, literally. Like these aren't, these aren't answers you're gonna do anything with, but people like to participate. So Twitter's, it's super easy to create a poll like that and people just wanna weigh in. Um, so that's part of it. Um, definitely tag people on Twitter. Um, don't just do it willy nilly. Um, do it judiciously. But if you post a picture I, uh, on Twitter or Instagram, I'm sorry, I'm, um, you can tag up to 10 people. So like I will always tag the ABA. You should always tag Bookstore Day. Um, if you're mentioning an author or a book, you know, a publisher, always tag them. They should always want to amplify your message. If you are mentioning Libro, tag Libro FM, obviously follow all those accounts. Um, 
uh, and like one way to do um, to get followers, there's different kinds of promotions, but like um, an increased follower numbers account would be or uh, promotion could be like um, like us tag two friends you think would like us and you'll be entered in a contest to win something cool. And it should be something cool, like maybe a $50 gift certificate, maybe a $30 gift certificate. I know times are tough, but you know, something that is going to motivate people to do that. Um, and then you get, you get that person has followed you and the two friends they have tagged will probably follow you because they will want that prize. That's why the prize has to be pretty good because you want to motivate people to follow you. Um, you know, social media works like a branch. So every pair of eyes you get on your site for any reason will, uh, will grow. Um, so there's lots of ways. We have a social media best practices page on our For the Trade page on our website. So if you're really, um, it has lots of um, book-centered tags. So uh, for each platform, so Twitter might have slightly different book-centered tags than Twitter, I mean, than, social, than Instagram. So we have all of that. So that's a good place to start. Um, can you post the link for the replay before you are done or send it out after? Yeah, I think Kaliba will do that. I, I think um, they're on top of it. I think Valentina is on top of that. Yes, I'll um, have it up tonight or tomorrow morning, but we'll link it in newsletter and on our website. Great. Um, and then um, I will link it on to the Bookstore Day website as well. Um, Valentina also had the, um, the suggestion of, you know, tag two friends who love sci-fi fantasy, enter to win whatever the new release is by a big sci-fi author. Tag two friends who love literature and translation. I mean, it can really be anything, but um, Sci-fi fantasy, I do have to say, tends to have a huge online presence. So just a lot of sci-fi readers, um, you know, yeah, for some reason. And romance readers too. Um, but like the literary, literary fiction isn't quite as easy a hook as like sci-fi or mysteries or um, YA, of course, has a huge online presence as well. Um, YA is a really, really good market to tap into online to increase your presence um, cause YA readers are all over this stuff. Anything else? Anybody want to, um, tell us just briefly what their plans are or what they're thinking about? You could get feedback, um, if you're not sure. Um, Anne, were there any other questions? No, nope, that was it. I think we covered everything. Okay. There's also, um, in the last newsletter we sent out, and um, the one previous to that, and the one coming up, there will be a link for you to share your party plans, whether virtual or in-store, with us, so that our publicity, we know. So when, so when like, the Boston Globe calls and says, hey, do you know what bookstores in the Boston area are doing, we know. And we can tell them, yes, call up this store and they're doing this. And um, it really helps us publicize the day, publicize individual stores, publicize individual locations. And so it doesn't, you don't have to tell me every single thing. You can just say, you know, we're having kids, in kids events that include hot cocoa in the morning and, you know, it can be very brief, but it really does help. Um, so look for that link in, um, in the last newsletter. Oh, good. Okay, so here's a couple of them. Um, <clears throat> uh, from Bradley, we are still focused on getting people in the store that day, so we're pouring mimosas all day. You would be shocked at how effective mimosas are. Um, even if people don't know it, when they walk in the store and you say, happy bookstore day, would you like a mimosa? Like the delight on people's face is really incredible. And of course, you can also pour straight orange juice for those that don't drink, but um, it's it's crazy effective and it delights everyone. I mean, the same with, with donuts or cookies 
booth or something. But um, it's nice if they're offered, not just on a plate somewhere, but like if you have someone like, hey, it's book thanks for coming in on Bookstore Day. Have a mimosa. That little bit of extra welcome and liveliness really pays off. Um, it, I, I was the mimosa person <laughs> a couple of years ago at a store and I just couldn't believe the positive reactions. Um, someone else is having a pop-up at a locally owned coffee shop. Um, does anyone have an idea that helps build community if we are only allowing a very few people in at a time? And feel free to speak up if you have um, suggestions for this person, for Kathy. But um, on our on the link I showed you on the For the Trade, which is you know um, party ideas for our for our new era. Um, one of the things we talk about is having a bookstore employee um, run a contest for people waiting in line. Um, that can be socially distanced. Everyone can have their masks on and be standing six feet apart. And you know you could have really little um, little prizes. Um, everybody's getting a roll of stickers that say I went to an independent book, you know, I visited my local independent bookstore day today, kind of like the I voted stickers. I mean, you could, if, you could use that as, for right answers. Um, we've also created an online, um, this doesn't speak to your question, Kathy, quite as much, but I forgot to mention it earlier, which is that we created an online scavenger hunt um, which is also linked um, on our website. So for people who aren't having in-store, um, they, it's, it's, they can do online and then turn it into you and be entered for a prize or just do it for fun. And you can certainly link that on your site. Um, yeah, so the building community, so run contests, pour mimosas in line, <laughs> pass out donuts, whatever it is. Um, hand uh, balloons or stickers or something to any children in line. Um, just make people feel really welcome and make them know how glad you are that they showed up at your store in this weird time for the celebration. Um, again, in terms of community building, you, you can always invite, uh, depending on you know, local laws and where you are, but you know, some people invite like a little trio to play on the sidewalk outside the store. And as long as, you know, if people are entering here on this side of your door and your trio's over here and masked up, you know, there's music playing while people are waiting in line. Um, and you, I, we've always encouraged people to link with their SPCAs because puppies and kitties always get tons of attention if they're outside a store, but that's a little harder right now. Um, let me see. So a smaller idea, which is great, is um, pinning what indie bookstores mean to me notes from customers that come in that day. Um, and so stores have always done this, but because you don't want a bunch of people standing at a piece of butcher paper together, you can pass out um, post-its like you would at a big signing and ask people to write what their favorite book, what's the book that changed your life? What's your favorite book? What do indie bookstores mean to you? And have them stick have all over your front window, all over a piece of butcher paper once they get in um, or on a table outside so they can write it while they're in line and think about it and then stick it on a table covered in butcher paper. And by the end of the day, you have a super uh, photogenic piece of paper with multicolored post-its all over it talking about how much people love indie bookstores or talking about their favorite books or what else. Um, let's see. So Candace, uh, Candace in New Orleans is saying, we're still closed, so we do everything virtually. We plan to offer a tiered giveaway. Spend $25, get a small prize. Spend $50, get a small prize and an ARC. $100, all that plus a tote bag. And um, they will ship those giveaways with the order. So that's also a great a way to do giveaways if you're just doing virtual. That's a really good idea. Um, Teresa says we're doing goodie bags and other small businesses are contributing to those bags, which also gets their name out into the community. They volunteered, which made me feel good about their support. So yeah, it, what if you can bring other local businesses into it, um, that's a great idea. And if you don't want to 
do go through the trouble or expense of actually having a physical goodie bag that you're stuffing, you could have a stack of coupons from different stores and, you know, just randomly hand them out to people um, in line or, you know, if you're running um, a trivia contest in line or, you know, whatever it is, there's, there's lots of ideas on our, um, on our website. Um, again, Anne from Kaliba is reminding us to post on social media throughout the day. Yes, definitely. Bookstore, post pictures of what's going on. If nothing's going on because your store is closed, post your contest over and over and over again. Um, there's, you can't, there's no such thing as doing it too much. You also, if you're open, you want anything that will encourage your customers to post um, and tag your store um, and list it as their destination. So you might say, you might have a contest throughout the day that says, post your purchase from my store. And if they post it on Instagram and they tag your store, they'll be entered to win something. Um, again, Candace uh, in New Orleans says, she's also planning on doing a social media party, asking customers to post what our store has meant to them, what their favorite book is, et cetera. Um, it's basically a virtual version of, of the, what, you know, of the post-its and of the um, butcher paper. Um, Christina, or I'm sorry, Christian says, uh, we might give out our extra arcs with the neighborhood open street day. Um, if they close it off to traffic and we have activities going on. Um, there will be no IBD ambassador activities in August, correct? We are actually trying to set up another um, Twitter party with Sean Doolittle of um, the Nationals, who is our bookstore day ambassador this year. You may have seen his event um, on April 25th. Um, he's awesome. He's a great reader. He's a huge sci-fi fantasy fan. He's a delightful guy. Um, so we are trying to put together a Twitter party for him. But as you might know, baseball season is cuckoo berries right now. So it's a little bit hard to pin him down. Um, but stay tuned. We, even without him, we'll have a Twitter party and we'll invite lots of our past um, ambassadors, Celeste Ng, Tayari Jones, Emma Straub, Lauren Groff, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as other participating authors. I'm losing my voice and getting tired of hearing it. But um, if anything else, did I miss something? Does, any, does anybody feel better prepared? <laughs> If people need to reach out to you, Samantha, what's the best way to do that? Um, so my email address is ibd at bookweb.org. Um, so you can always reach out to me there. Um, I prefer to kind of, I mean, if you have a specific question, do not hesitate. But obviously, I prefer to disseminate this information to as many people at once rather than to 1,200 booksellers individually. So um, I really try and make it all available in the newsletters. Make sure you're signed up for that newsletter. You can go right to IndieBookstoreDay.com if there's a sign up now. There's a sign up now on the For the Trade page, which is where all of, all of that um, good stuff is for you. Um, I'm just scanning these questions to make sure that I didn't miss anything, but it doesn't look like I did. Um, so that's it, and I really, really hope this goes well and please document um, even if you are like oh you don't have the time to post on social media which i hope you do but um, even if you don't take pictures anyway we want to see what you did we use those pictures from stores all over the country to promote the day to our publishers and authors and and book selling community um, to get new ideas about <clears throat> what can be done on bookstore day so they're very useful so um Keep in touch, send us your good news, send us your bad news. There will, of course, be a um, follow-up survey as there is every year. So I hope you guys will fill that out because again, we just don't really know what to expect. So that will help us. Um, if we're in this position again next year, it will help us figure out what works and what doesn't. Look, yeah, thank you all. Thanks a lot for joining. I really appreciate it. And please contact me for anything. Um, and hopefully I'll see you on August 29th.